All right, it's your boy Big Rich with another mob story. Let's get down to business. New article that just came out. Salute to my boy Shattered. And this is big in regards to, um, you know, Operation Sindicato, the Andrangheta in Canada, uh, and the articles that we were talking about uh, as far as the recent uh, police uh, bus in Italy and Canada and how they came about this information. As always, salute to my boy Shattered for getting us the information. Italian mafia boss visiting Canada unwittingly carried a police wiretap to his meetings. That's fucking crazy. Half of those charged in anti-mafia probe in Italy are Canadians or are living in Canada. Evidence of mafia's unbreakable umbilical cord. As a mafia boss visiting Canada from Italy met with alleged mobsters here in April, he wanted them to be careful of what they said because Canadian police might be listening. Oh, they were listening, buddy, but it was you that was brought the wiretap in. Not your fault, you didn't know, but why the fuck are anybody bringing cell phones to a meeting after all this shit that's going on? You need to throw your cell phones in the fucking garbage. And figure out a way of communicating. That's it. Once you figure out a way to communicate without your cell phones and using digital media, you'll beat these feds and these police and these authorities and the government, et cetera, et cetera, who are as more crooked than you guys are, a way of stopping you and not catching you guys from talking on the phone, okay? You got to do it. What was really happening was that the visitor's smartphone was unwittingly and secretly transmitting his closed-door conversations to the authorities in Italy, from Canada, my man. That's crazy. On Friday, Italy's Polizia di Stato issued 16 fresh warrants on top of 12 already stemming from the trip to the Toronto area. The internal summaries of the police investigation, including experts from recorded wiretap conversations in and around Toronto, were recently filed in court in Italy to support arrest warrants that have not yet been tested at trial. The documents add further evidence to what Italian authorities call an unbreakable umbilical cord between the underworlds in both Canada and Italy. The latest Vincenzo Muia, who was among those arrested in Italy, arrived at Toronto's on March 31st with his cousin Giuseppe Gregorassi, who was also arrested. Each of them was traveling with a son that wasn't arrested. This guy Vincenzo was going to the meetings with his phone that was transmitting their conversations back to Italy. During his discussions, he warned the need to be cautious about what they said, not only in their houses, but even on the street. He said that the house is a bomb full of bugs. You don't want to talk in your house. You don't want to talk in the streets because they got directional microphones that they could point on you, uh, point to you and pick up your conversations. I'm telling you now, old school style Pen and pad, write it down, yes or no, burn the papers, walk away. Done. And you do this way, you can't even be seen doing it. Throw your phones away, close your fucking email addresses, and stop with the bullshit. That's why they allowed everybody to get wired the fuck up. The conversations were being listened to and recorded by police. Picked up and transmitted through the cell phone Muya was carrying to his meetings, according to court documents. We know that we know that Muya came to Canada for one thing, to find out who ambushed and killed his brother in Soderno, a town in Calabria. That's what he came for. And he met with Angelo and Cosimo Figliomeni to find out about his who killed his brother and the feds, well not the feds, but the Canadian police and the Italian police were listening. We could call them the feds. You know, equivalent them to the feds. I don't know if they're dirty as the feds, but still. The men living in Canada were not taken into custody as they are not in Italy. They all face charges of mafia association, but mafia association isn't a crime in Canada if you associate with the mafia outside of uh, Canada. So it's not an extraditable offense. Two of those charged in Italy on Friday but live in Canada were Giuseppe De Maria, 56, known as Joe, who is the brother of the alleged mafia boss 
Vicen- Vicenzo, Vicenzo Jimmy Di Maria, who has long been named as a senior Andrangheta figure in Canada and is currently in prison. Those wanted in Italy and residing in Canada are Rocco Remo Camiso, 73, who has for decades been named as a leading mob figure in the Toronto area, Francesco Camiso, 62, known as The Chosen, who is an alleged senior leader of the group, Angelo Figliomeni, known as Angelino, is alleged to be the head of this mafia clan in Canada, Cosimo Figliomeni, 54, also known as Cosimino, who is Angelo Figliomeni's brother, Antonio Figliomeni, 57, and Michele Carabetta, 61. All right? So these are the people that were named in the warrants, have been arrested, or named in a warrant. So salute to Shattered. Thank you for the article. We appreciate it. Mob Stories, Big Rich, salute. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you could throw us a donation, we appreciate it.